Hello everyone and welcome back to the island of Alki, where we've got several very interesting stories beginning to emerge among our tribe members. It has been a few generations since we first introduced the spit snout into the tribe and it has since spread into being a sign of beauty among the females of our tribe members, just because we decided it could be. And that causes a little bit of contention for some of the tribe members who don't meet those standards of beauty, such as Anna here. So Anna is actually our gorgeous little deer. I really love her. She's our little deer creature. She's got this very, very nice brown fur. She's got beautiful black eyes and those awesome antlers. But Anna, even though she is older, is not considered as attractive among her tribe members as Rossi, her younger sister, who has spit snout and is pretty fast, too. So Rossi is sort of the family darling, uh, especially because she's one of the few females. It's mostly been males lately, it seems, that have been born among this group right here. And so Anna has been thinking and talking with her good friend Kukunu and Kukunu is considered attractive again it's very fun to kind of begin to build a little bit of tribal lore and stories just for the sake of it while we ride out everything and wait for the next update to the game but Kukunu here is considered very attractive with his spit snout and his experience he spent a long time sitting on the beach making sure he kept an eye out for any bunnies that might happen to wander by and he's been talking to her about how there's so much land to be explored up in the far north and that's actually one of the big goals that we're working on right now is making a huge loop of exploration around the other half of the island that we haven't even been able to touch just yet. So a lot of generations have actually gone into creating the paths that we have already and more generations will need to go into creating even more wandering paths up into the north side of the island. And so Anna is thinking about running away as she gets a little bit older and moving deep into the forest and trying to establish her own tribe. And little does she know, it'll be her great uncle Kitavan's work, having explored this area very thoroughly. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring actually. And we'll do that so we can kind of clear the way to the nest. But it'll be her great uncle Kitavan who has explored this spot and made it safe for his tribe members to eventually move into. And so Anna is going to go up there and she has kind of enchanted Kukunu. And we're also going to see if we can move up Duke Kirta because I really like his looks and I think it would be really awesome to be able to keep the brown shades and coloring in Anna's offspring. So that's one of our big goals right now, just kind of a fun goal because like I said, you get to the point where the stories that you make really become a huge part of everything that you can enjoy here. So we're also going to continue our exploring and continue our food collecting too. Oh, there we go. Nice little bit of a bunny meal right there. We'll go ahead and gather up all of these berries. I don't think there's any berries down here to collect, but there's a lot over here. And Kiro, Kiro has got the big giant ears and the spots and the red mane that we're pretty fond of. So we're gonna go ahead and gather up these berries. I think I might have Kiro try to have a child soon. I'm just not sure with who, maybe Isla here. Would they have healthy children? They might have healthy children. They have the potential for it. So I may scooch Anacora out of the nest. She's just kind of been hogging it for a while. So Anacora, move. <laughs> And then we might start breeding up some of the other creatures on the side just to make sure that we are keeping, there we go, that we are keeping uh, enough population. Oh, where do you think you're going, bunny? Enough population going that we won't lose out when some of our older tribe members start passing away from old age. <gasps> like he did! Oh no! Near Kier Duke, I'm sorry, your father passed away of old age. It is your job now to watch over the hole in the ground where there was the great carnivore battle and take care of this berry nest. So hopefully he can pull that off. His mom, Sisko's <gasps> a berry bush getting older, but she's beginning to uh, like discover the edges over here that we haven't quite cleared out yet. So we're gonna be clearing out a lot of the grass as time goes on. I know a lot of you guys are really eager for that, but I do like leaving some of it because you get carnivores and other things popping out of it, which can often be very helpful to a tribe if you're running low on money. Or money, you know what I mean, on berries. The currency of a hungry, hungry mouth. Oh, and there we go, another berry, another, another bunny down. And I do actually need Dukta, you're going to have to help out for a little bit by collecting these because I need more paws to help with the berry collecting. All right, you guys, look at this. Would you look at this? Oh my gosh. All right, you see how much we've got right now? We're not even done. We're not even done. I have more berries I can collect. <laughs> Hang on here. Hang on here. I'm going to make this happen. Okay. Okay, you guys. We have 70 berries. 
we still that kind of ended evenly because he like used up a berry to move for no good reason but we have 70 i am so pleased right now 70 berries <laughs> And there's still more on the vine. Oh my gosh. All right. So I think we need to start having more babies if I have more berries and we can't even collect them. And we definitely can indulge in a little bit of exploring now because geez Louise, I mean, come on. Oh boy. Well, that's uh, that's not quite the kind of exploring I had in mind. Um, do I have any good fighters? Rira, Rira, I might need your help. <laughs> we'll see if we can have these two take this guy out. And let's see, Tar Taroku is not a very good fighter, and I can't really move any of my- Oh, there's a Venomous Fang. Van Van! Come on, come help out! Oh, right, and Van Van can help out. We'll have him move over here to you, and then he can start attacking the next move, too. So, yeah, we had 70 for a second there, you guys. That was pretty exciting. And we just learned Toxic Body. Very cool. So, well, let's see. We don't really need Toxic Body right now, so we're going to swap out for Yellow Fur and just unlock more of the mutations again. But, okay, so... As you guys remember, last time one of the big stories that we had was Koanasi over here establishing her own little tribe on the outer edges where she's got her solitude of looking out over the ocean. Well, she met on a dark and rainy night Kukukir. So Kukukir is here. He's hopefully going to defend his tiny little budding family from whatever threat lurks inside of the rustling grasses. And their children will hopefully be able to continue finishing up the path over here. And in the future, we will be moving our little deer child up as well. But right now, it looks like we have a carnivore to deal with. And 70 food for a second. That was pretty amazing. All right, so let's see what happens with this carnivore. Hang in there, everybody. Okay, Van Van, attack with your, with your venomous fangs. Sweet, we did it. That was pretty easy. There we go. And now we'll gather up the carnivore food. How much is it when you gather it up? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, no, really? <laughs> There's a pair of carnivores attacking. Oh gosh, now's not the time to discover a berry bush finally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so everybody. Oh my gosh, another berry bush. You guys, this is why <laughs> this is why we definitely need to dive on in. Oh my goodness, and explore all of the grasses. We just found two berry bushes because of the carnivores actually. So, hopefully we'll be able to take these carnivores down. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should clear more of the grasses, but the thing is it adds a lot of excitement when you have to cope with sudden danger too. So, all right, let's back up. What else do I need to do? We can gather up these berries. I'm just gonna have to wait to be able to attack that one. Kitavan, Kitavan is about to pass away. Oh, I'm gonna miss him so much. He's been one of our most exciting explorers. And I'm gonna have him go ahead and do a little bit of exploring this direction so we can start connecting this area up for the little deer in the future. We have to gather up these. I have to gather up this. I've got a little bit of berry right here. Oh my gosh, we still have the ability to have even more berries. <laughs> this is, this is, I, I think that the little princess Anna here isn't going to realize that even though she's the uglier of the princesses and has less regard among her pack mates, 74 food, 74 food. I'm not even done. Yes, all right. We're gonna gather these up. There we go. You're not a very good collector. I should have somebody else on that. Oh my gosh. We've got this food over here. We've got this food over here. 86. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 92. <laughs> this is the most food I've ever had. This is amazing. This is the biggest abundance ever. Okay, so 92 food, you guys and a carnivore threatening. So let's go ahead and, uh, is there anything else I can do really quickly? Well, this little guy, Rossi, or excuse me, this little girl, Rossi, who's considered currently the most beautiful out of all of the, the children that this tribe has had, is gonna scoot over and uh, let's see, uh, Duke Duke here, hmm. He's not very strong, but I like his colors and everything. So we might keep him as Rossi's mate. And then Anako, let's see, Kuvan. Kuro, let's see, I wanna make sure nobody's related. Yeah, Kuro, I think I'm gonna move him up here and they can have another baby. And then I'm gonna move Kuvan because he has the B and G immunity genes. He is gonna mate with Kosi here because she's considered a very healthy female even if she's not particularly attractive. And they'll have another baby. And then I was thinking about Isla 
And actually, I was thinking about Kuro, wasn't I? Oh, well, we moved him away. And so, are you a little boy over here? Isla, stop, stop taking up my time. All right, Ronu. Ronu, he might have some interesting babies. So we might have them have some babies. Here, Duke is down there. So yeah, we'll let Ronu have a baby when he's of age. So we'll just have to wait because they're not of age yet. And we do need to have more children because I'm beginning to realize we're losing a lot of our older tribe members. All right, but 86 food and we need to take out this carnivore. So let's see what we can do. Hang in there, everybody. There's a lot of you guys. Oh, I don't think the carnivore attacked. What? That's so interesting. So, all right, who can do the most attack? Dukta actually has really strong attack. And here we go. <laughs> and we can gather up this berry. Oh my gosh, 94 food. <laughs> oh my goodness, 97 food. It's adding up. There's, oh, and there's a cute baby, Nuro. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I really like him. And there's cute babies everywhere. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna gather this up, I'm gonna gather this up, I'm gonna gather up this food and this food. All right, and he's actually of age. So 102. Oh, and there's a bunny, a bunny out in the open. Can I get it? Like, if I, ah, okay, I don't wanna waste any more because we're so close. We're so close. There's so much food. Where'd that bunny go? Oh, into this bear, but, or into that bush spot. I gotcha. All right, we've got that. 105. 110. Oh, and the baby was born. I didn't even notice because I've been so excited. Okay, you guys. I think is that everything I can reach without spending any moves to gather any more berries? No, we've got more. All right, one right over here. One right over here. 113 berries. 113 food. I'm pretty proud right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We're kind of ruling over a gigantic empire at the moment with so much food I don't think I've ever had so much at once and we pretty much bounced. I think oh wait, we're not even done <gasps> There was another one And did the bunny move close enough? No, it didn't. Fooey. Can I get the bunny though? Ah, okay, so we have 113 <laughs> That that is pretty awesome. So 113 food all together. I'm pretty darn proud about that. We've unlocked a new new gray fur gene as well. So we can go ahead and add that to our little list. This is really fantastic. I'm, I'm the wealthiest we've ever been in berries before. So this is quite exciting for me. And there goes that bunny. Just right outside my reach the whole time. It is just taunting us, isn't it? There we go. We probably like ended up wasting more food than not, but we're sitting on top of so much right now I'm not sure if it matters <laughs> and then we've got the baby down here. So we have little Takuta. Oh, and he's just a gentle little guy He can't do any attacks. Oh, so we have like this gentle tiny little tribe over here Just berry paw. There's nothing about him that can attack. He's just he's just got a gentle heart Oh boy, I don't know if that's gonna be the kind of children that can survive away from the tribes over here But we'll give them more children and see what happens. This is so amazing. I can't believe we managed to get that many. <laughs> we managed to get that much food. And there's actually somewhere over here. I need to find it again. But we found another berry bush right there. Sweet. So we found another berry bush. And we'll just kind of clear this little spot over here. And then Van Van came over with his venomous fangs and managed to help out quite a bit. So I'm really proud of these guys. They've been working hard. They've managed to clear out a couple of carnivores. We've got so much food. We can actually go ahead and clear out this little space too. So yeah, they've been doing really, really good. Good job, everybody. Good job. And we have the birth of Anna, Anala. So that's really interesting. So we have Anna and we have Anala. So I think that secretly Kosai has always been frustrated at how she's been kind of mistreated since she's very uh, plain and ugly according to the standards of their tribe. So I think that she might send her two daughters who look like her up north. So we'll send them both up north. Her son Nuvan, I'm not sure if he would leave. He's been a member of the tribe for a very long time. So I don't see that being very likely. Uh, but we might send him deeper into these bushes 
to start clearing away what lays around here because I'm finding so many berry bushes I didn't expect, which is quite exciting. But all right, so Anala, we'll probably have her start moving up north in just a minute now that she's getting a little bit older. And but I wanna wait till her sister can come with us. And we are gonna have Dukirta go with them too because Dukirta is very, he's just very attractive. I love his spots and his colors. Well, actually, mm, yeah, we'll send him. Even though ideally just the plain coat is going to be the family, like family motto, I just, I can't get over how handsome Dukirta is. So we'll leave him there. And then I do want to move Lassie because she's getting older over here. And I'll move Kiro since he has amazing babies next to her too. And then Ananako. Ananako? Hmm. B and F. A and B. Uh, let's see. A and D. Ananako, who can I pair you up with? F and B. She needs somebody who has immunity A and D. So A and D, A and D. Dukta, Dukta, guess what? I just found you a wonderful mate, wonderful. So I might have her go ahead and we'll move her up here just to be where she needs to be. There we go, so those two are set up. And then Ananala here does have the D immunity gene and the D immunity gene seems to be kind of uh, beginning to fade out, but we're waiting for uh, Kuduk to grow up. So that should be okay. All right, so we've got a lot going on with our little tribe, I'm pretty pleased. And we had so much food and we used up so much of it just then, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, and then Ananame, huh, you know what? Let's send Ananame down. She can't move very quickly. So I'm gonna say if Ananame can make it all the way over to the nest, then we can have the gentle, like never hurt anything babies born from Kosani here. And then Ananame can end up having the fighters. She is the only warrioress of the entire Alki Island, actually the only one who is all fighting and no berry collecting. So it would be interesting to see her children as well. So, all right, I think what we're gonna do then is we'll focus on these guys for just until the end of the day. And then tomorrow we will move Anala, or Anala actually, yeah, and her sister Anna up north. And we'll start their journey up north to settle this area and start exploring it quite a bit more. So that was really amazing to have that much food for a second. I felt pretty powerful. <laughs> oh, we have just a plain cute little baby, Konali, or Konala, let's see. And then Ananama, can you make it? She's almost there. All right, we'll have him go ahead and move down and they can start having a baby. And then we'll have her go ahead and start having a baby. And then the little son can help out gathering up, gathering up those berries. So this group is expanding, even if there's always rustle rustling going on around them to kind of threaten them at times. And then we can gather up the food that Kuvan managed to collect down here. So Kuvan, I think you're supposed to be back up here having lots of babies. <laughs> so we need to get him back up there so he can continue having children. And then we'll gather up these berry bushes. Yeah, we've got to get more babies born to start being our new berry bush pickers. Oh, and then there's the little one. Ranala! Oh, you guys had an excellent child. Good job. I love it when they put their paw over the baby's eye like that. So, all right, we had over a hundred food for a brief moment. It was pretty amazing. With careful monitoring and collecting, we might be able to get ourselves back up to that amazing achievement. Um, and hopefully we'll put that food to use too. It's not worth it just to hoard it. We also wanna make sure that we're able to use it so that we can, let's see, is there anybody I can send down? Dukta, I think you're gonna move over here and collect this up. We also wanna be sure that we are able to use all of that food and put it to good use, exploring, expanding, defeating bunnies who try to eat our berry bushes and fighting off carnivores. So yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be very, very fun to see how the island continues to surprise us. So I will see you guys next time. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that, 104 food. I will see you guys next time as the very wealthy Alki tribes continue to expand and tell some very interesting stories. Bye-bye guys.